so we haven't done much recording today we've both just kind of focused on what we we're doing but Shane has had a big day of just doing little things all day so there's not really that much that we can really show just all little stuff um yeah because we're just hoping to get the trailer in to be galvanized in a few days so yep just drilling heaps of holes but um you've all Shane's also started doing the hopefully the winch remote in a different spot pull that control little controller apart and they're just little spring switches on the there's solenoid pack in there so and it miraculously fits pretty well perfect in this little box so just because that's big and a little pain so i'll pull the solenoid pack out of that just stick it in there and then just cut those switches just cut some threads in there and those switches will go in there and then that little box just sit on this side oh yeah a little yeah, a little grommet sort of coming out the side. What I'll do with the cable yet, yeah, but it'll probably just come out here and in there, I'd say. Out one of these holes and then just down to a battery that I'll have mounted. Mm -hmm. So it'll be constant power on here. Cool, that was lucky that it fits perfectly. Yeah. Yeah, it was a bit more complex than that than I thought, but yeah, that'll, that'll work out well. Mm. Yeah, it'll be a bit easier to use. Yeah. When I looked over a minute ago, <laughs> Shane was just like, I should not have started pulling this apart. <laughs> but it sounds like you worked out fine. Oh, I was just putting it back together because there's like four little springs and I have to push it back together at the same time. And compressed them. Yeah. Just fiddly. Yeah, I got it. Um, so the other goals were to start doing, well, the other things we were going to do before Thursday we took the tent back off the top and um, we've got to get the trailer lights when i say we every time <laughs> shane has to plus i still earn money um trailer lights on the back struts that we've been speaking to um, a really good guy in Mackay who's called the strut man i think yeah he was really good we called someone else and they basically said they couldn't help us because they couldn't figure out what we needed but he was really helpful shane sent him some photos the strut man um, so if you need struts in Mackay, we recommend. Um, so we're going to pick them up tomorrow and that'll be the struts that help to lift the whole frame, like top part of the frame with the tent on the top when we need to get the boat in and out. So then that's majority of the holes drilled then that we need, isn't it? Any others? I'm just going to drill more on the gel holes. Oh yeah. I think I'm going to that other drill bit, so I need another one. All these little holes. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> and that's so the galvanizing can get inside. Yeah. And I'll run the, the cables and the wiring enough to go through these ones. Oh okay. So we all inside the chassis. Ooh. So yeah. Not really much to show you today, otherwise, and I've just been getting stuff up for sale to start getting things ready for clearing out the house that we're in. So, a pretty uneventful day all round. This is called Future Proofing. Not oh, really, it's called Helping Future Shay. <laughs> Which is like left and... Yeah, front. This is literally saving me half an hour in the future. <laughs> I'm sure Future Shay now will thank you. Mm. So they're the skids for in the corners. Yeah, just to protect these posts and just a bit of extra help, I suppose. It's very likely that these are going to get smacked around a bit with the boat, so. Yeah, and we'll make some brackets and test the struts with all the weight on it. See if we need to add some more gas. Mm -hmm. Cool. It's nice to see that it all finally coming together. Yeah, it's good. rather dramatic turn of events um, Shane and I have decided we're gonna change the frame of the trailer just because when we're winching the boat in or out it's really wanting to hit on this bar just as it starts to tip so much as we don't want to do this because we want to get on the road Shane is going to 
um, build a frame coming further out and forwards and we're just going to move because basically Shane's built this to be detachable so it's on separate little legs and we're just going to pick this up and move it as far this way as we can and hopefully that should make a difference I mean we're going to have a play around with it and see if that will make a difference based on where it wants to start tipping but not what we wanted but I guess these things never really go to plan as you expected them So this is literally a big, not kerfuffle, that's the word I was going to use. Testing our problem solving abilities, wouldn't you say, Shane? Mmm. Mm. So the way we found to keep the force downwards on the boat just whilst it gets past this is to, Shane bought two winches, an electronic winch and a hand winch, and we're going to use the hand winch to go down under the first and second roller and clip onto the second hole here. And that keeps the downward force just long enough. And what we've thought about is a majority of the time this is going to pretty well be hitting water pretty soon and giving some lift up the back and also you'd be more downhill a lot of the time as well so this is probably like the worst conditions ever that we'd have to get the boat on and off so i guess if we get it working in these conditions it's always going to be working yeah see look at that it only needs the slightest bit and it helps to bring it in that bit more and then you just get the electronic winch do you want me to do the remote? Yeah, that's what I mean. I reckon I put another roller here so it's... Keeps it lower even more. Well, so you can make sure it's completely... Because if that goes back out, it'll want to pop back up. Yeah. But if that, if that angle's down here... But it's going to be here. under that roller, remember, because that was the only way we kept it down. Going out, but I think going back in... You could do it you can down do there. Under one of these. It's, and it's literally just, so we are still going to move the frame forward. So that's something else to think, Shane. It is probably going to literally be like 200 mil of distance that we're going to have to, not even. Yeah. Yeah, well that's, yeah. So in hindsight, if anyone, else, anyone is watching this and thinking of doing it themselves, we're thinking it would have been way better to have the whole frame for the rooftop tent, like much farther to the, further to the front and have the boat set back a bit so that then that upswing that we're talking about, you wouldn't anywhere. As the rooftop tent comes up, that upswing would start to happen more like here, which would have solved all our problems, but you know. Shane's upset because I sold his sad tables from the house that need to be sold because we're leaving soon. You're obsessed with them. No, I just, they're convenient. They we have two purpose. tables in the car. Mm. All right. So you need some help getting the struts back on? Or no, the struts are on. We're just going to try and pull it down and match it so I can put the tent on. Ah, oh, okay. So you managed to get them on, on your own? Yeah, because they're open. Right. Okay. Need some help pulling it down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the part you're going to compress on the summer stage. They're going to be heavy, so I think mean, you hang off this corner, I'll hang off this corner, and we'll see how we go. Oh God, this is going to be funny. Okay. You want us to both hang off each corner?
they shift it forward a bit, it should be right. Yeah. Is that moved the library on that side? Yeah. yeah. I watched it as you were doing it. really well. Do you want to... So now that the gas struts are solved, the next thing is to get the trailer lights mounted for the galvanizing and to cut off this whole frame to then shift it forward. No, just the, just basically yeah, chop off this bit. Yeah. Um, and then this, because this is going to be just bolted on, the frame, this is more what I was talking about. And then move it, shift it forwards with a new platform over here for it. And then hopefully that'll solve all our problems. Because it'll help the outboard too, because at the moment we've been struggling to hook the outboard up with the tent there. So by shifting it forward is going to solve that problem too. So Shane has done this side. And then he's going to do the same on the other side. And then we've got some sheet metal to go here. And then that'll obviously just mean that we can move the frame forward. So hopefully we can get all of that done today. Should have been built to begin with, but we'll learn them as we go. So yeah, I left the little plates in here, which I'd already had there for the drop down um, stabilizing legs, which I think that's working out pretty well. So there's a few there's holes in here because obviously it will fill up with water, but it'll all drain out. Um, and that's pretty good for them. It keeps them nice and concealed, so they'll be up underneath. You can't even tell they're there. Now we're just going to do a test run with the boat going on again, yeah. now that we've moved it forwards. Let's see how it goes. I'll move some rollers around as well. And you want to do some changes change, up here. Change this up. And well, the final tweaks over the next couple of days before it goes into be galvanised. Yeah, nearly there. Nearly there. <laughs> I think we're both getting very keen to get on the road and it's kind of rich coming from me because Shane's the one that's been hustling his booty for ages now. But when we're back on the Sunshine Coast, he finished work about three weeks before me and just worked on the car and the setup like non-stop. So 
keep seeing everyone on social media having the best time at Cape York and Northern Territory at the moment and it's what we want to be doing but you just can't rush these things I guess if we rush it he'll um just come back to Gladys in the butt anyway see how the test run goes She goes on a butte. That's a really big accomplishment for us. And now we're just weighing up where to put like the battery holder, the jerry can holders, all the little finishing touches. <laughs> yeah, good job, Shane. Yeah, thank you. You are welcome. Thanks for watching. We'll be releasing new videos every Friday at 5 p.m. Australian Easter Standard Time, so make sure to click the subscribe button so you never miss a video. If you've got any questions about the build, I'm sure Shane would be happy to answer them. Just drop us a comment. And if you did like this video in particular, make sure to click the like button.